Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 rewatchable female Broadway belts. For this list, we'll be looking at the most outstanding female belters who we can't get enough of watching. Male performers deserve their own list, so we'll be focusing exclusively on the ladies for this one. Which of these stars impresses you the most? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Memory, Betty Buckley, Cats. Memory, all alone in the moonlight. I can smile at the old days. I was beautiful then. Now that cat can belt. Betty Buckley has been around for decades, taking the stage by storm since 1969. But when it comes to memory, no one does it quite like Buckley. She starred as Grizabella in the 1982 Broadway production of Cats, winning a Tony Award for her efforts. Someone mutters in the street love the gutters, and soon it will be more. And it's easy to see why. Her performance of the song is exceptional. She starts off almost meek, but when she makes it to the touch me line, she explodes off of the ground, belting the emotional and heartfelt lyrics with power and ease. Touch me. Number 9. Gimme Gimme, Sutton Foster, Thoroughly Modern Millie. Gimme Gimme. That thing called love, I'll brave it, thick and thin, rich or poor time, give me years and I'll want more time. If there's one thing Sutton Foster can do, it's sing her face off. She's proven she has what it takes a million times over, and absolutely slays that final note in her rendition of Anything Goes. <laughs> But for this entry, we're taking it back to the beginning. Thoroughly Modern Millie was a star-making performance for Foster, earning her a Tony and allowing her the chance to show off her chops. Somebody, somebody to love me. In Gimme Gimme, the show's big I want number, she belts out the final jubilant chorus with so much triumph, it's hard not to immediately jump to your feet. Gimme, gimme the thing Number 8. Satisfied, Renee Elise Goldsberry, Hamilton. Hope that you provide. Hamilton is mostly known for its hip-hop style and amazingly fast raps, but it's a pretty strong show for belters as well, especially if you're a Skylar sister. So this is what it feels like to match with someone at your level. What the hell is the catch? It's the feeling of freedom of seeing the light. It's Ben Franklin with the key and a kite. You see it right. Philippa Sue wrangles the anger in Burn with gusto. Jasmine Cephas Jones, as Mariah Reynolds, makes belting sexy again and say no to this. But Renee Leeds Goldsberry's final moments in Satisfied are too powerful to be ignored. Having spent the entire song switching between singing and rapping, it's hard to believe anyone could have enough air left over for what Goldsberry pulls off at the end. But of course, she makes it look effortless, riffing and belting with the best of them. Number 6. 
Number seven, on my own, Lea Salonga, Les Miserables. Oh, I'm all alone again, nowhere to turn, no one to go to. Without a home, without a friend, without a face to say hello to. Before she was a Disney princess, she was a Broadway baby. Lea Salonga was just a teen when she started playing Kim in the London production of Miss Saigon, and she carries so much emotional heft on songs like I'd Give My Life For You. We'll be who you want to be. You can choose whatever heaven But for this entry, we're going with the song that Salonga has said, quote, changed her life. When she went out for Miss Saigon, she sang On My Own from Les Miserables. Just a few years later, she found herself singing it on a Broadway stage as she brought Eponine to life. To this day, it's still pretty astounding to hear so much power and control coming out of such a petite person. That's full of happiness that I have never known. Number 6, Legally Blonde Remix, Kate Schindel, Legally Blonde. Back in the game, back on the case, take a good look at my There's no other way to say it. Legally Blonde is a belter's dream, especially if you're playing the role of Elle Woods. In the original Broadway production, Laura Bell Bundy is astounding in the lead role, shooting for the stars on numbers like So Much Better. But for this list, we went with a different showstopper. Towards the end of the play, Vivian, played by Kate Schindel, tries to convince Elle that she needs to come back to the trial. She breaks out into a rousing rendition of Legally Blonde Remix, leaving no belt unturned. What makes it so great is how unexpected it is from the character, particularly that face-melting note at the end. Number 5, I'm Here, Cynthia Erivo, The Color Purple. Got my hands doing good like they supposed to. Showing my heart to the folks that I'm close to. In the modern musical world, there's almost no one who's doing it like Cynthia Erivo. These days, it feels like Erivo's been a household name forever, starring in movies and television shows in addition to being a Broadway star. But back in 2015, she didn't have near the cachet that she does now, making it all the more impressive when she blew us away as Seely in The Color Purple. The star is an incredible Seely, and her voice is lovely throughout the entire show. But something about I'm Here makes the hair on the back of our neck stand up. There's so much freedom in Arivo's performance, and when she hits that final note, she leaves it all on the table. And Number four, a new Argentina, Patti Lupone, Evita. It doesn't matter what those morons say. We probably don't have to tell you that Patti Lapone is a world-class belter. Me 
She's been a household name and powerhouse for so long, it's difficult to pick a favorite example. But watching her as Eva Perón in Evita makes it difficult to pick anything other than a new Argentina. The song serves as the act one closer and has a lot of moving parts, but Lupone has a standout moment towards the end. While trying to convince the people of her husband's support for workers' rights, she wails some truly poignant lyrics. Her control and strength as she does so are simply unmatched. Number 3. Defying Gravity, Adina Menzel, Wicked. I'm through with playing by. The rules of someone else's game. If you were around to see Wicked on Broadway when Adina Menzel was starring as Alphaba, you got to witness something very special. And something very belty. Oh, you can find me, look to the western sky. As someone told me lately, everyone deserves a chance to fly. Alphaba has some of the most memorable belts of all time including a few that are heart-wrenchingly sad in No Good Deed. But we just couldn't go with anything else but defying gravity. The subject of many a budding theater kid's hairbrush routine in their bedroom. It's become such an iconic belting number that people make compilations just to hear the different runs that each Elphaba puts on the song. But nothing will ever beat the original and Menzel's pure, magnificent vocals. Number 2. Don't Rain on My Parade, Barbara Streisand, Funny Girl. Don't tell me not to live your sitting putter. Life's candy and the sun's a ball of butter. Don't bring around the cloud and rain on my parade. No one can do it like Fanny Bryce. Except Streisand, that is. In the 1960s, Barbara Streisand had already solidified herself as a recording star and had starred in the original Broadway production of Funny Girl. If someone takes a spinning me who told you you're allowed to rain on my parade? But the world didn't get to see how truly phenomenal her Fanny Bryce was until the latter's film adaptation hit theaters in 1968. Streisand is a certified star throughout the film, but she somehow kicks it up a notch during Don't Rain on My Parade. There's so much joy and looseness to her voice, filling those high, belty moments that punctuate the song full of unadulterated glee. Rain on my Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Pharaoh Story, Lori Beachman, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. We'd let Beachman tell our story any day. She used to be mine, Jessie Mueller, waitress. She is messy, she is kind, she can belt. You don't know this man, Carolee Carmelo, Parade. We do know that Carmelo's vocals are amazing. I don't think you could. You don't have the right to know a man that wise and good is a decent man. 
Not a day goes by, Bernadette Peters, Merrily We Roll Along. Not a day goes by that we don't think about this rendition. Wait For Me reprise, Ava Noblezada, Hades Town. We can't wait to watch this again. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. And I am telling you I'm not going. Jennifer Holiday, Dreamgirls. I am telling you Listen, we're not exaggerating when we say that nothing quite compares to this one. Many have tried, and many have come close, but nobody has quite managed to capture the raw emotion and potency of Jennifer Holliday's performance of And I Am Telling You I'm Not Going from Dreamgirls. At this point, there's an almost mythic quality to it, and for good reason. Seeing it in person back in the day would have surely been a life-changing experience. But even watching her belt and run and riff through a small computer screen, you can still feel the sheer vigor and passion emanating out of her person. with our picks, check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.